I don't know if you guys have noticed, but most of the artists in the underground scene seem to be behind the Rage Beat hype right now. Now, it seems like it kind of spawned from Yeet back in the day when his Rage Beats were really going up. Now you got artists like Two Hollis, Netspend, Rich Amiri, and a bunch of other people that are just following the Rage Beat method, which I'm not hating on at all because I love it. But in this video, I want to show you guys the secrets behind how these producers are getting these beats to sound like that. And there's one thing that really makes a Rage Beat a Rage Beat. So let's jump in FL Studio and I'm going to show you guys some of the most popular things I know that really make a rage beat. All right, I'm gonna try and speed run and explain this as fast as possible because I want this to be a quick and easy to understand video. So what we're gonna do is open up Serum and I'm gonna show you guys the number one thing you could do to get that rage sound. So I'm in my Cyber V1 Serum Bank and I'm just finding a sound that's super gritty. So something like this. Now we could change this later, but for right now, we're gonna go into the piano roll and I'm gonna show you guys the number one tip to get these beats to sound super rage heavy. So we're gonna go to scale highlighting and I'm just gonna set mine to A natural minor this is just going to be all the white keys and it's just super easy for me to use because i know the white keys the easiest so here's the tip and i'm telling you it's really easy but it works so well so you're going to go to your root note make this however long you want to do you can make this chord progression however you want it but instead of going up to c which you normally would and make a triad like this we're not going to do that instead delete this note and bring this c down to b and then bring it up one octave and as soon as i play this you're going to hear that rage inspired sound now the super cool part about using a chord like this is it's so easy to duplicate over. So say we want to go like this, we'll just bring it down. Make sure this is still in scale. It is, so let's see what this sounds like. All right, I don't like that. Let's bring it down 2 to F. All right, so I brought it down an octave, and we're just still trying to find the progression here. So let me just duplicate some of this over. All right, so I'm going to duplicate this last chord over and do something like this. So now we're just going to mess with the scale. So I'm going to bring it up a couple semitones just by hitting shift and up and down arrow. All right, so it looks like we're in B minor now. So we're going to do scale highlighting, scale highlighting, uh, B minor. I'm going to try and add a note on top of this E. And then we can just mess with the preset here. So let's just see if we can find something cooler. This could be cool. I'm going to go ahead and throw a fruity chorus on this. Now you just need a counter melody. So a super simple way to make a counter melody on top of these rage beats is just go back into Serum and find just another different gritty sound. So I'm going to go back into, let's go to Cyber V2 and just go through some of these leads. I'm going to turn my keyboard type around. I actually like this one. Now what you're going to do is basically just follow the top notes. So I'm just going to go like this. And we're going to mess with this, but I'm going to bring it up an octave. And then maybe one more counter melody on top of that. So what I like to do is just go back into Serum and find a pluck just to add just one more counter melody. So I'm going to go back into Cyber. Yeah, this should be perfect. We're going to do something like this. Just gonna add a bunch of reverb to this and it could be a super simple reverb like fruity reverb and to add some variation you could go to that lead that we made and we could just bring it up and down But now one of the best ways to make your 808 stand out, right? So what you want to do is go to where you have all of your melody. So I have it on one, two, and three. And we're going to grab those two by 
holding control and just dragging your mouse across. And then you're going to go to the next open mixer track and control click this button right here. And what that's going to do is route all of these to mixer track number four. And then you're going to go and add a fruity parametric EQ2 and just pull out all the low end. So now your 808 is not going to match with any of the melodies and you don't have to add it to every single track. Also, one of the most gate kept plugins that I feel like people don't like to share is Shaperbox. You could do some crazy stuff like this. And I feel like Shaperbox was used a lot in some of these rage beats. So what I like to do is just go into the showcase here and go to like, maybe we could go into the motion and just mess with some of these. See, that just added something that just sounds super cool. And now we're going to move on to the drums. So like I said, I have two cyber kits that I built specifically for these sounds. So I'm going to be using both of those, specifically the Cyber V2 kit. I'm going to go and grab this hard snare called Eurus. I'm just going to make a super simple snare pattern, just like that. Then I'm going to grab a hi-hat. We're going to go to the closed hats. And I'm going to grab this one called Tonka. And we're going to right-click, fill each two steps. And I'm going to click in this one right here, this note. And then maybe right here as well. And something like that. Now we have this pattern. And we're just going to do some snare rolls. Something like this. Maybe grab some open hats. Now it's time for the 808, which I think is the most important part of these beats. You really got to mess around and try and get something correct here. One of my favorite 808s is a CTM Yeet 808 that I have Cyber V2. I mean, come on, that's like the typical Rage 808 right there. But what we're going to do is mix this 808 with the CTM. So we're going to go to cut itself on both of these 808s. And we're going to start with the first one and just follow the root note. And what I'm going to do is go into this 808. And what I'm going to do is go into the first 808 and change it like this. We're going to remove this 808 right at the clap. And we're going to go into the CTM Yeet one. We add it right on the clap. So now I have pretty much exactly what I want. So now what we're going to go over is the arrangement and how to do some cool beat splits that'll make your beat just come to the next level. So we're going to go to split by channel and we're just going to bring everything out into the playlist. I'm going to start out by duplicating everything over and we're just going to take all the drums away. What I'm going to do is right click this pattern and we're just going to make it unique and we're going to go into it. And just make it a lot more simple. So something like that. And then right at this point, we're going to make a new pattern. We're just going to call this kick. I'm going to bring this pattern over here. I'm just going to grab a kick from Cyber V2. We're going to throw this to mixer track number 13 and just throw a cool little kick pattern on here.
right, then I just duplicate that over three times and we have a full beat. And now we're going to highlight everything, hit Control Alt C on our keyboard, and this is going to consolidate everything. So now we're going to do something a lot of people probably don't know in FL Studio, and that's making a new arrangement. So you go to this arrangement button right here and just click Add One. Go like this. And now you have another arrangement. So what we're going to do is bring the beat in. So now what I'm going to do is go into where I have my Yeet Lifestyle preset. I'm just going to grab the stock version for you guys and show you what it can do. So we're just going to drag it into an empty playlist mixer track. And first thing you got to do is connect the main preset to the reverb delay and all the other buses. So you just do that by selecting your main preset and shift clicking these buttons down here. And then you control the reverb delay and everything with these knobs. So now I'm going to turn my mic gain down and we're going to activate the preset. Yeah, oh, I want to be on all right, so I brought it back to the normal pitch, so we're in B minor. Let's see what we can do. So now I'm on the Ablet track, so we're gonna grab some reverb, a bunch of yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 bitch, oh. Find my shit out here with you out of space. Yeah, make my money smile, make my money cry. All right, so that's all I'm gonna record for now. So let's listen to it and see what we got. Yeah, we MIA. They can't find my shit out here. They way too out of space. We don't speak on what we do. Now we hang out for days. Yeah, make my money smile. Make my money cry. Make my money grow. We just wanna switch up like everything we do. We can't even hang with you. You know what I will crow. You got your little baby face. You bang it, bang it up. Pass me all that shit you have. You can't even have my cool. that's all i got for this one i hope i taught you guys something if i did make sure you go down and hit that like button leave me a comment let me know what you guys want to see in the next video but uh yeah go make some rage beats i'll see you guys in the next video